Okay, so in this video, I will be showing how to circuit bend, circuit bend TV without modifying one. So, this is the TV I will be doing the modification to. Uh, it can be any TV except for, I have this TV, but it doesn't work because, um, I'll just show you when it turns on. You need a TV that does that has static when in a option, but as you see, it's gonna flash because um, cameras have a hard time recording TVs. But if I were to plug this little cable I made in for the TV thing, I'm not gonna open it. I don't feel like opening up a TV and doing the actual way to circuit bend it so it can be like an oscilloscope. But um, it's just so you can put in like music. I guess that's what I've been using it for. And this one, um, because it doesn't pick up everything and it needs like a solid signal, it will not work. So if yours does that and says signal unreadable like in a big thing, like this one does, it says unusable signal, then it won't work. But this little one, the only one I have, if you wait for it to turn on, uh, it just takes a bit to warm up, but it flashes and that little like line going up and down that's just because it's a camera so what you do is I'll show you at the how to make this cable okay so sorry about the messiness but like of my desk but um so what you'll need to make this adapter cable is um any cord like this if you have the other end which I think I have some, yeah, right here. This is the other end. So I have two ends. This end, I'm just going to put back in my part spin thing. And what you want to do is cut the ends off. Well, cut this rubber off after you cut it one in half. And there should be, like, one like this and one in any type of rubber coating. So this is usually the ground, this one without the rubber coating inside, and this one is usually the positive. So what you want to do is um, take a knife or something and scratch away all, or if you have wire strippers that works too, or like scissors, if you be careful you can scratch away the rubber so you have two bare metal things. And then this part is optional, I use it because I can, um, I don't know, I just like it more. So what you need is a small section of wire. It, I think it improves it. If it, this one is speaker wire, so it has just a plain blue wire, and on, and then it has a whitish wire. On the other side, it's all blue, but on this side, it's white, and there's little tiny pluses that the camera can't pick up all over it. Maybe it can. I don't know, but, so what you want to do is, I I take the positive, which doesn't matter, like, if it's not, po like, what I think is positive, on the wire, and connect it to the white one, and then connect the negative to what I would say the negative wire for this speaker wire is, so, I'm just going to... Take some electrical tape, duct tape, um, will work fine. Probably not scotch tape, like see-through stuff, because it would look, it might look a little bit strange, I don't know. It would work, but look weird. So get electrical tape if you can, or masking tape, that works, or duct tape. Um, and I'm gonna start with the positive wire. And just wrap it all the way around the metal and then I'm just gonna wrap it once more and then I do this to cut because I'm a bit lazy I uh, I just after wrapping it a whole bunch of times to make sure it's in its own little pocket 
and it won't come out. And then I just wrap them both together. And it saves me electrical tape. And yeah. So now I'll show you how you hook this up to the TV and an amplifier or a speaker. Okay, so this plug, this one, it goes into a TV if you didn't notice already. And you don't want to put it into the white or red jacks. You want it in the green or video jack. So on the back of this, there's some knobs for brightness settings over here, but there's a toggle switch here to go from radio uh, or TV, or no, TV or AV signals. So there's an antenna port. There's also this antenna on the top if you want to connect, but you don't really get any signals because they switched to digital, but... So I plug it into the yellow jack right here. See, this one's yellow, this one's white. White one is for audio. We want video. And then, I'm just going to put that there for now. And if we look down here, this is my amplifier. Uh, you can't really see it because it's all black, but it's an older one. And for a demonstration, if I can get it out of here, I'm just going to, to make this faster, take this speaker out. Um, out of there and now I have wires you would just get these if you had an old pair of speakers you could take one off and the negative goes to the negative of this cable and uh, positive goes to positive obviously but if you have an amplifier you just take the speaker connections and positive to positive, negative to negative. You, if, if it's an older TV that you don't care about, go ahead and mix them up and see what works better for you. But So, I'm not even going to bother with the electrical tape. So I have the connections on the floor there. And now all I have to do is turn on the radio and you and we can watch TV. So, lights up over there as you see. Fan comes on that I added. And it's just the radio, so it's on, uh, there's on mine right over here, there's a channel selection so I can turn on just the front speakers, just the back speakers, or this one. I just had one of the back speakers hooked into the one under at the front of my room, but, um, so I'm going to put on the back speakers and then turn the balance to left, and that cuts out the actual back speaker and puts it into here. So then when I turn this up, you notice how like it's going all weird? And it even makes some weird noises. But um the if if you're into circuit bending, you can hook this straight into the speaker's terminals and you can watch it like that and then I can turn up the balance a bit and you can hear the music that's playing. This is just on the radio, so sorry if it's like your music and um, I don't own it, but I'm not trying to, like, saying it's mine, it's whoever, whatever. So, um, there, that's it basically. It will just go on and on. None of these switches change any mode, sadly, but... You could probably f you could probably even hook it into a co coaxial cable like if I can find one somewhere in here. Uh might not have one. Yeah, I'd have one. Okay, like this. You might be able to hook one into this cable to have it into an old old TV, but um because this little TV doesn't have a coaxial input, I can't do that and I can't try it because the blue TV just gives me a blue screen. And so you could cut the cable, follow the same steps, see if that works. And you can comment so other people know. Um I don't really need to try it because this is working great for me. And even if you guys think this is like maybe not me, um, there's no cables connected, no switches I could press, there's no wires going around 
for a switch so I can turn it off and on. Um, if I click the power button over here, it stops doing it. If I click it again, it just has to load. So, because it's an older amplifier, it takes a second for it to kick in. But, yeah. And then I can turn on the sound. Uh, it works good on some songs and not so good on other songs. But, yeah, that's what I have today. And if you want to, if you want me to make any other videos or have any ideas for me, feel free to put them in the comment section so I can see them. And if I decide I want to try it or I, or I've already built it or I have an idea, I'll share it with you and. Maybe I will help you build whatever you wanted to build. So, um, yeah, like, subscribe, comment, and share this video if you liked it. Um, yeah, bye.